good morning all of you same exercise i will continue exercise number 22 last period have completed question number 18 now question number 19 a game of small diagram is given here yes first to draw the diagram square inside this square small circle next the circle is divided into eight parts yes next numbers right here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Yes, now I will read out question. A, go, a game of chance consists of a spinning an arrow. Yes, arrow mark is here. Which comes to rest pointing at one of the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 shown in the figure. And these are equally likely outcomes. What is the probability that it will point at number 1, 8? First, S is equal to sample space 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Therefore, what is the value of N of S? 8. Complete depend upon problem depend upon N of S. Next, now we write getting 8 S. First one, let E1. Be the event that is after spinning an arrow, after spinning an arrow, the arrow mark comes to 8. What is the probability? So, in this game, only 1 8 is there. So, all numbers 1 is 1 time, 2 is also 1 time, 3 is also 1 time, 4 is also 1 time, 5 is 1 time, 6 is 1 time, 7 is 1 time, 8 is one time so totally only one eight is there so getting getting first question eight getting eight therefore first rate set e1 is equal to only one eight therefore what is the value of n of e1 one is any confusion here only one option only one possible outcomes because in this circle in this spinning game, only one eight is there, so therefore n of e1 is equal to 1. Therefore, probability of e1 is equal to n of e1 divided by n of s, so that is equal to 1 by 8. What is the probability? Getting 8, that is 1 by 8. I told you, problems are very simple. This chapter. Next, an odd number, let e2 be the event that getting getting an odd number getting an odd number therefore as set e2 select odd number 1 3 5 7 Therefore, what is the value of n of e2? How many odd numbers are there? 4. Therefore, p of e2 is equal to, what is the formula? n of e2 by n of s. 4 by total numbers, 8. So, what is the answer? 1 by 2. Next, third question. A number greater than 2, let e3 be the event that getting a number which is as greater than which is greater than 2 greater than 2 as therefore e3 right greater than 2 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. What is the value of n of e3? 
Yes, how many numbers are there? Six. Therefore, P of E3 is equal to N of E3 by N of S. So, 6 by H, 3 by 4. Question number 3, answer is 3 by 4. Next, last question. Last question, fourth one. Let E4 be the event that, now you see the question, getting, what is the condition here, getting a number less than A, less than 9, getting a number which is less than 9, yes, therefore, less than 9 means sample space itself 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 therefore n of e4 8 therefore p of e4 is equal to n of e4 by n of s so h by h one we got probability one we got means that is called as sure event so probability is zero then it is called as impossible event okay as this is the procedure let's next question 20 question number 20 find the probability that the month of January may have five Mondays. First one in a leap year. Second one non-leap year. Yes, before going to start this one first, if you know the meaning of leap year and non-leap year. Yes, leap year. Yes, leap year means total number of days that is 366 so here what will get in the month of february 29 days yes, this one i mean 2020 is leap year leap year means the total i mean 220 that is divisible by 4 why because we are getting 4 years once so leap year 4 year once the Totally, I mean year 2020 is divisible for next leap year 2024 like that. Okay, right? leap year 366 days. Next, non leap year, non leap year 365 days. So, here we have in the month of February only 28 days. So, this is the difference between leap year and non leap year the question is find the probability that the month of january may have five mondays in a leap year as first one let e1 be the event that s the month of january may have five mondays in a leap year find the probability that the month of January, yes, January means yes, completely total number of days in the month January 31 days. In this 31 days, 4 complete week, correct? 4 complete weeks plus 3 days extra. Extra means maybe yes, 1 Sunday extra or one Monday get extra or one Tuesday, one Wednesday, one Friday, one Thursday, one Friday, one Saturday. So we have three days extra total number of days that is 17. So three days, four complete weeks plus three days extra. In these three, you will get any one day either Sunday to Saturday you will get three days, one extra okay, no? or five, five five Sundays, correct? In three days, maybe, maybe, as five Sundays, then five Mondays, correct? Next, one, 
spine, two days, there five, Wednesdays, there five, there five, Thursdays, or five, Friday, or five, Saturdays. Maybe, maybe. Okay, na? Yes, maybe, yes. But three compulsory. Maybe three compulsory. Okay, na? Yes, that E1 be the event that month of January, month of January, month of January may have, may have five Mondays, five Mondays. So therefore, E1 is equal to, I told you, S3, correct? Maybe, any one, any three of these weeks. And therefore, S, what is your left? N of E1, directly left right here. N of E1 is equal to 3. So E1 means, okay, no? S, select any, I mean, Sunday or Monday, Tuesday or Monday, Tuesday. We have many options. So better write direct N of E1 is equal to 3. Therefore, probability of this one is equal to N of E1 divided by N of S. So that is equal to 3 by 7. Next, now coming to S non leap year. Let E2 be the event that month of January. Month of January may have five Mondays in a non leap year. So here in a leap year. Yes, in a leap year. Yes, coming to non leap year. Yes, non leap year means yes, four. We have S31 days, 4 weeks and 3 days. So the options are again S in a non leap year. Non leap year means S total number of January again 31 days, 4 complete weeks and 3 days. Correct? There is no problem. Why? Because leap year or non leap year, whatever it may be, there is no changes in the number of days in the month of January. Only the change in February, correct? February 29 days. See here, there is no changes. Therefore, N of E2 is equal to 3. Therefore, probability of E2 is equal to N of E2 by N of S that is equal to 3 by 7. Understood all of you? Yes, there is no changes here. Again, in a leap year or non leap year, so January totally days 31, 4 complete weeks and 3 days. So if it is a leap year, again, that's N of E1, I mean, Mondays, we will get any 3 days extra, now, that's 3 divided by 7, total number of days in a week, that is 7, 3 days means extra days, that is 3 by 7. Okay, now, similar here also, non-leap year, so there is no changes in the January month, again, you have 31 days, Leap year or non leap year, whatever it may be. So, four complete weeks again plus three days extra. Three extra divided by total number of working days that is seven. Okay. So, both answers three by seven, three by seven. I shall continue my next video class. Thank you.